Hey everybody, welcome to My Usual Me. Welcome back to The Long Dark, where today we're going to start Interloper, the series, 2020. All right, guys, if you don't know what Interloper is, if you never heard of The Long Dark, Long Dark is a uh, survival crafting game where you start off in the Canadian Rockies after an EMP or an electromagnetic pulse has just completely decimated all of Canada and no, mo most of North America, so there is no electricity and so, and this is after the fact, your plane went down and there's just like and there's nobody around. Like there's no survivors hardly at all. And so you gotta have, you have to go around and you have to collect what you gotta collect and you gotta survive as well as you can in the cold. It's the middle of winter and it's a big fat nightmare, which I love this nightmare. So the long dark is a nightmare that, that I have uh, grown to love over the years. I really like this game a lot. And we're gonna do the most difficult version called Interlopers. So the survival mode right here, we're gonna go with a new one. Interloper is for expert players looking for the ultimate wilderness survival challenge. You start with the most minimal of resources and you have to craft everything you need to survive. Now, there are no firearms in this version. There are firearms in the other versions. There are a lot of easier versions you can play. Uh, there's a custom. I thought about letting my community make me a custom uh, playthrough, but I decided to go through Interloper just until we die. Next time, next one, we'll do a custom for, for you guys to pick what I can do, what I can't do. Or how hard it really is for me. So anyway, uh, but there are no firearms. You have to make all of your weapons and all of your tools. And very minimal food, very minimal fire starters and, you know, like matches and whatnot. Very minimal clothing. So, and you also don't, you don't know where you start on any of the maps. And there are like eight, nine maps now, I think, that are all linked together. So we're going to go ahead and it's going to be a random, uh, just a crapshoot, just to see where we start. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to be a male. Uh, because it is so difficult, they allow for two feats. I'm going to take them. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to take the efficient machine, which is going to allow my body to consume 10% fewer calories. So I get more bang for my buck with, with whatever I kill and what I find and cold fusion, uh, because I've spent more, a lot of time outside it, I'm less susceptible to the cold. So I get a plus 4% Fahrenheit bo bonus on my air temperature. So it's going to warm me up a little bit. So food goes a little longer and I'm not as cold right off the bat. So we're going to go with, um, oh, we'll call it Enter 2020. Enter 2020. All right, there we go. No telling where I'm going to be. It's probably going to put me at, at Timberwolf Mountain, the most difficult spot. I don't know. We'll see. Forging for food and water, the struggle for life in a world without matters or masters housed in a body that man made dependent on himself. Oh, no, I'm at Desolation Point. I know where I'm at. All right, so, and it's midday. So it's going to be super cold. Doesn't start getting warm until later. Uh, looks like there's a body over there because the crows are up there. They're going to grab some stones. Because I think I might find a rabbit or two. Thank God it's middle day. See where the crows are? That's usually where there's a body. Let's go check out and see what's going on here. It might be a deer. If it's a deer, I probably can't harvest it because it's probably frozen. What's up, dude? Oh, yeah, it's a deer. Okay. Well, I can't harvest it because it's frozen, and I can't do, I can't do anything with my bare hands. I, if I had matches, I could start a fire, and then we could harvest it, but we're not going to. Um, Do I want to go to the lighthouse? Maybe. Yeah, let's drop over to the lighthouse right quick and see what's up. There's usually wolves right in here, so i got to be careful. Hopefully we'll be all right, though. So I'm going to slip over here. We got to go that way, go across a bridge and across another bridge to get to the lighthouse. I want to check these boats. Maybe they might get some, we might get lucky with these boats, maybe. We'll get a little food or something. Ooh, no backpack. There's a metal box, though. Nothing. All right, so Nothing. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. It's all random gen with the uh, loot and the loot table, so there's no telling what you're going to get or not get. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Good, I'm going to run. Normally you don't want to run with wolves around, but I don't think there's any wolves right now. And you use up a lot more calories when you run too, so you got to take that into consideration. All right. Like I could walk. But I know I'm going to be resting when I get to the lighthouse anyway, so. There's another body right here. I might get a scarf out of this, maybe, huh? 
There's a body down there. There is a scarf down there. Uh, I'm going to crouch so I don't sprain an ankle. Take that scarf and check this body. All right, we're good. Got to find gloves and a hat right away. This scarf will help with the hat situation, but I need gloves. All right. Let's go ahead and um, put this scarf on that we just found, which is cool. Uh, by the way, uh, you don't start with hardly jack squat in this game. I have one can and the clothes on my back. That's it. I have nothing else. Nothing else. So I picked up those rocks, so that's all do we got in here. I could use Antiseptic. I really don't want it. It's too heavy, but we'll carry it for now. I'd rather have an old old man's beard dressing than antiseptic bottle any day of the week. Does the same thing and weighs like like a tenth the, the weight. Cedar firewood will start that. I don't have any matches, so I can't start a fire right now. But I do know that we're close to a spot we'll always have matches, and that's the cannery. Cannery will always have matches for us, so I'm not too worried about it. We're also really close to one of the very first, one of the only, um, what you call it, forges on the maps. But, oh my god. This stuff will come in handy. I thought that was a, I don't know what I thought it was. We'll wear it though. It's an extra, you know, degree of, of warmth. I don't see anything. You always want to look down below the beds and whatnot. Look above and below, because you never know what you're going to get. Tin of sardines, please tell me I can... All right, it's 25%. We're going to eat it right away. You can usually eat things right away if it's, if it's like, low condition. But if you if you grab it and put it in your pack, immediately it'll lose condition, and then it will make it will give you food poisoning. So you, and people will tell you different things about, about food, about what you can eat and what you can't eat. I, I've never gotten sick. I've never gotten food poisoning off of food that I have found and eaten right away. Uh, yeah, I'll take them. I'll take them. I, I'm, I'm not overburdened right now. I can harvest those from leather later on. And strips of leather are kind of rare, so I don't really need those shoes. But what kind of shoes am I wearing? Sneakers? Oh, no, I'm wearing leather shoes. Those are better condition. We'll wear those, and we'll scrap the other ones. If I get be uh, better shoes, and I'll wear the other shoes. But until then, always want, you always want the best condition you got. All right, I don't think there's anything else out here. We'll double check, but I don't think there is. I don't think there ever is. I am losing condition though because it's so freaking cold. So we got to keep on the move. We got to go. Warmed up a little bit now in here. So, um, you know what? I could probably, we could probably rest for an hour to warm up. Yeah, we could probably rest for an hour to warm up. Let's do that. And then it probably is going to be warmer outside after that. So that's good. Hold with hypothermia at risk. Yeah, normally, I mean, two hours might be better, but I want to get on the move. We'll rest at the next spot. I think I'm going to be fine. Did I check this in here? I did. Okay. All right. I don't think there's anything else here. I think we went ahead and checked everything. But we're going to get on out of here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and sneak down the side here so we don't have to go across these bridges again. Because there's wolves that direction. Well, there's really going to be wolves no matter where we go, but... Can I just slip down this way? I don't know if I can or not. Uh, yeah, I can. We're going to do it this way. I might end up hurting myself, braining an ankle. But this is going to be quicker than going the other way. There we go. My fingers feel numb. Yep. Super cold. All right. Hopefully it didn't fog up on us. Weather gets foggy, it gets nasty real quick. All right. So over here is going to be, there's going to be rabbits through here. And I 
th thought about stopping and maybe getting a rabbit or two, but I think there's going to be food at the cannery, so I think we're probably going to be all right for a minute. I can go rabbit hunting anytime. So I think, because on the back side over here, we do have rabbits. But I think we're going to wait. I think I'm going to go ahead and hit over the Kraken, which is the boat out of the water right there. That's where one of the forges are. But I don't have a hammer to make my tools and weapons. So until I find a hammer, I'm kind of screwed. I highly, highly doubt. Matter of fact, I don't think I've ever found a hammer at the cannery. I highly doubt I'm going to find a, a, a hammer at the cannery. I don't even think they spawn there. So I'm going to have to leave the map get a hammer and come back to the Kraken. So they, there's a forge here and there's going to be coal next to it, but I'm not going to warm up with it because that's a waste of coal and you need coal to be able to, to be able to f uh, forge anything. So I'm not going to bother. There's rabbits on the backside over there. We can grab that. That was rabbits later on. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. There is some scrap metal. We're going to drop that over here. Because we're going to need scrap metal when we go to forge. Is there a body here? Sometimes there's a body here. No. Okay. Right, we got to kind of hurry because I'm losing condition pretty quick. Plastic container. Um, the forge is back in that room right there. It's right here. So I'm going to drop this, um, this metal for later. I mean, so I can make stuff with it. Probably shouldn't bother even looting this because I'm freaking freezing but I'm hoping for something some early game uh, goodness so let's see what we can do not a tostada no such lucka no such luka and the scrap metal we'll, we'll check over here I want them all in the same spot so I don't lose them so I don't forget now I'm gonna come in with a hacksaw and all, there's all these metal shelves and whatever, I can chop that up and make that into scrap metal. But anytime I don't have to use a tool, it's always better. There's the body I was looking for. Okay, I know you guys can't see very much, but sewing primer so we can learn how to sew a little bit better. And good. Sometimes there's food here, sometimes there's not. I don't see any food here. It might have changed the spawns on me, too, since I played last. I don't see any. What's this? Can of food? There it is. Hope I can still eat this. 69%. I'll keep it. We will eat that can, that can of pork and beans for dinner tonight. That's 600 calories. You need 750 calories in, during a night's sleep so you don't lose condition. Let's go this way. So that's a good start to my, uh, my, nightly, my, my dinner tonight. Sneak over here. Come on. All right, nothing. All right, we got to get going. The weather's starting to turn on us. The cannery is right over there, so we're good. We're good. I just got to get over there. Go ahead and crouch down, and we'll just jump down this way. There we go. All right. Now, wolves and bears both spawn around in here, so we got to be careful. But I don't see any. You normally hear the wolves before you see them. Unless it's like a timber wolf, but timber wolves are only in certain spots on maps, so we're going to be okay for right now. That's a bear. Where, where, where is he? Where is he? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm stuck. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Hey, dude. He ran off the other way. Thank God. Oh, we got to go. Oh, that could have been bad. That could have been so bad. Woo. <laughs> Fortunately, he decided to go the other direction. Oh, man. All right. So we're in here now. Starting to warm up. Old bedroll. I don't think that is. I can't pick that up. That's, that's an old bedroll. All right, maybe we'll get lucky. I can't really see very much without a lantern or a torch, and I don't have either, so I'm not going to be able to loot this properly. Get down here and see maybe a down vest. There we go. Add that. 
not much extra, but it's a little extra. I'll take all the cold resistance I can get right now. Hopefully we'll be replacing it soon, though. Mm. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Drop down and look underneath. Always look underneath. I came in this door. Let's go this way. Mm. Oh, there's no jumping in this game either if you're not familiar with the game. So if you can't move, maneuver over it by going back and forth or wiggling your way through it, you can get stuck real easy. I mean, the, the developers have done a really good job about not may, not allowing you to get stuck. What's this? Whetstone. I'll take it. Prepping my tools. All right. We're good to go. Starting to warm up a little bit, but... And I crouch before I leave the trailer. So in case there's a wolf on the other side of that door, I can sneak back in. Okay, I think I'm good. My right, cannery's dead ahead. So I'm going to sprint it. All right, I think, I think I'm good. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Nothing in that locker. Let's get out of here. We're about 75% uh, uh, conditioned right now, which is not bad, but it's still freaking freezing here. So, what I'm going to try to do is find some matches. Take that book. Maybe we'll get lucky. This is where I'm hoping for some matches. There's a barrel downstairs. I can, I can, um, I can make some water. Warm this place up for a minute. So let's go ahead and let's... Actually, I think there should be matches right here. Guaranteed to be matches somewhere here. I don't know exactly where, though. Hey, 88%. I'll take it for later. Um, Alright. I don't have a crowbar, so I can't get into half of these lockers. Like that one or that one. All right. Hopefully, matches are right over here. Then, if they weren't over, they weren't over at that other place. Okay, I was guaranteed for match. Oh, there's matches right there. All right, there's our matches. There's another whetstone. We're gonna take it to. We got 12 matches now. I don't have a torch, but we do have a lantern, baby. There's our storm lantern right there. Um, 0.24 gallons of gas. All right, what else we got? Don't I have gas? Do I have gas? Hang on. Hang on. No, I don't have any. Thought I did. All right, we don't. Um, it's getting close to getting dark. Good thing I have this lantern. I'm not going to light it, though. Right now, we're going to in a minute, but not right now. All right, let's go downstairs. I think we're gonna want to start a fire, but only when I'm ready to boil water. The newsprint. Is there anything else here? I don't care about that note. All right. I need a little bit more food for tonight. There's a pry bar. And a hacksaw'd be beautiful, but I don't think you're gonna find a hacksaw. All right, so we're gonna have to get it, get this warmed up before I go trying for that safe. Let's go up this tube right quick, because there's some, there's some, um, what you may call it, stash of food up in here. Go up this pipe. And there's a canoe up here to the right, and that's where you want to go. Tell you, it's a little slow going, but we're all right. All right, so what do we got? I got. Broken metal door. Guns, guns, guns. Another book. Uh, and right there. Dog food. I can still eat this. 28%? I'm eating it right now. We're going to eat it right now, right now. Alright. Hopefully it didn't make me sick. Shouldn't. This? Nothing. So hard to see in the dark. There's a bandage. Take that. 
and this plastic container. This is that secret stash I was talking about. Uh, occasionally there's something here, but I don't see it. Uh, we're gonna sneak back down. And I think I'm probably pretty close to being being ready to light a fire, but I don't think I have many wooden items on me, so. Let's go this way. There's a flare, I'll use that flare later. I'm almost down to half condition. That sucks. We still have to make water, though. Uh, another pack of matches, baby? Sweet. Another 12 matches. Nice. Alright, there's only really one other spot I want to go to. I got it. It's going to be one of those... Um, lighting a fire to break down things to light a, to keep the fire going to break down things to keep the fire going so yada yada back and forth type of thing. So, because it's going to take how long is it going to take for me to break? I can't break that down. Uh, anything here? No, no. All right, so I need to find something that's going to be small or short to break down. That's going to take an hour and thirty minutes for six pieces. Um, that's really going to hurt me. I need something that's going to be, like, not that long. Do I have anything on me? Did I pick up any sticks? I didn't pick up any sticks, did I? Oh, I got some books. Oh, I got one piece of wood. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start this fire. Cross our fingers. Like I, don't, like I said, I don't have a... Um, I don't have a torch. So normally you'd want to light a torch before you light the fire. Because then the torch is still lit if the fire doesn't it doesn't light, and you get to try again. Otherwise, you waste a match. So hopefully, we, won't, we don't waste one match here. I think we're going to be good. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. And we're going to add. Uh, I'm going to add this book to the fire, which is 30 minutes. That cedar firewood is 30 minutes, and then I'm going to go ahead and get uh, get rid of this gun book because there are no guns in this version. So confirm. It gives me an hour and 47 minutes. Let's go ahead and break this down right now. Oh, that's an only an hour, and I get four pieces. Beautiful. Sweet. Because we're indoors, it should last a little longer. We had 46 minutes left, see? We're going to add this fuel. All right, there's that. And it is fr freaking dark right now, right? Yeah, it's getting dark. All right, so we're going to go ahead and break this one down. Give us six. All right. Still have this fire going. All right, so we have an hour and 12 minutes. So we're going to add this fuel to this. Two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm going to break down the... Because I can't see anything. You know what? We'll just grab a torch. No. It's four hours. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, you know what? We are going to grab a torch. That way I don't waste my fuel. Because I don't have any extra fuel. So, take a torch. And let's go get another box to do. Um, we'll break down this box. It's another hour and a half for six. All right, cool. I should have put that torch out, but I didn't. Oh, well. All right, we're still down by... 50% condition, so I gotta go ahead and add the fuel to this. Five, six. And now we're gonna go ahead and make. Oh, you know what? I'll. I'll, I'll, I'll oh, good. Oh, I didn't wanna do that. Wrong button. Put that out. We need water. I should have made water before I, I did anything else. We lost more condition because of that. That's right. I only have a can. That sucks. Alright, so there it is. Pass the time. Pass the time. And drink it. Take it. And. Alright. That's not we're not quite full. But at least I'm not losing condition right now. So we're good. Water. Cook. Space. I'm using the space bar to speed things up, speed time up. Take that. And water again. We're just going to continue to do this. Alright, there's that. And how much water does that give me? Oops. That's quarter gallon. We want more. I need double that.
all I can think about is food. I have food in my pocket, buddy. Don't worry about it. We're good. Two and a half hours, huh? Um, let's see here. Water. All right. One more. All right, we got it. Now I'll pick this up. Okay, so what do I have on me that I can see? Do I have any medical? Actually, let's do this. No, I don't have anything, do I, on me? Well, this is the first day, so I really shouldn't be too hard on myself. All right, so let's go ahead and grab a few torches out of here for later. All right. Three's not enough. I want four. Minimum of four. All right. So, I'll take this last one because there's one spot I want to check right quick before we head to bed. We're going to head up here. And... I wanted to double check in the light, make sure I didn't miss anything. But I want to go back in here. It's going to take almost all of this torch to be able to do it. Go over here. Crouch down. Uh, go, 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 go up, dude. There we go. And there should be a body right here. Yep. For the whole torch, 100%. 100%. 100% torch, man. I'll eat that. Oh, man, I got to take it and eat it right now. Shit. Hopefully it didn't make me sick. It wouldn't let me eat it because I had, I don't know. And there's something else in that backpack, or something, I think. Hopefully I don't get sick from that. It's empty. Is there anything on the body? Nope, don't think so. Okay. Well, that's not bad. 100% torch. I'll take it, dude. All right, so let's go ahead and crouch down. Yeah, I didn't have what it takes. I don't have what it takes to make 100% torch myself. I need lamp oil. I got to search these file cabinets too. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this out. And we're going to guess where the uh, where this file cabinet is. Actually, I should probably go to bed and just do this in the morning. That's what we'll do. I think I might miss some of these drawers. It's two. There's a third one. I think there's three in each one. Yeah, there's three in each one. All right, so we're going to break this out for just a split second. It's almost full. That's great. And then I want to go down. We're going to get up in the morning and... I'm going to put this out. We're going to get up in the morning and do that, do that safe. We're just going to sleep right now. So, oh, actually, how many, let me grab all the water I can. What, what's my calorie count looking like? I need 750 calories. There's 600, so we'll go with, that's 300, so uh, there we go. That should be 750. I just ate half of that. 772. That's good. And we'll drink our water. I'll save the rest of the sardines for later. You can always hit the escape button to stop eating. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours is what I want for the maximum amount of sleep I can get for the maximum amount of, of condition to get back. And, and I woke up fairly rested. I still have a little bit of water in my body and a little bit of food. Look at that. We're back. We're up to 80% condition, I think. I think that's what it is. 80%. Let me double check. Boom. I, find food. Uh, I think it's 80%. I don't know where it, it tells me. Uh, that's weird. Oh, well, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. All right, so we're good. I do need to drink some water. You want to make sure you stay hydrated. If nothing else, 
You got to stay hydrated. You can't, you can stay without food for a full day. Like I'm only going to eat right before I go to bed because um, you only lose 1% condition every hour of the game that you don't eat. So you start off with 100% condition, right? Like we're at like 85 right now because I slept and I got it back. So long as you go to, fe- go to bed with a full belly and hydrated and you sleep for nine to 10 hours, you're going to be able to get 35, 30 to 35% of your condition back so long as you don't start freezing to death or, you know, or you get thirsty or you get hungry, your condition will continue to go up. And if you sleep for nine straight hours, it increases it. If you drink some, some herbal tea or some birch bark tea, that will increase that amount. I don't know by how much, but I do know it, it will increase it beyond that 30, 35%. So we're going to go downstairs. There is a safe I want to pick, and then we're going to see what we can do after that. All right, so let me go down and get this safe. We got matches, baby. Woo! Hopefully we got something good in here. Now I can see what I'm doing. All right. Go ahead and crouch down. Search the safe. All right. So using our arrow buttons, we're going to figure out what that combination is. There we go. 39.14.9. Boom. Give me something good. Yeah. Boots. Yeah. I'll take those boots. Much better than what I've got on. So that's really good. See, they're new too, huh? Worn. 59%. We'll wear them. And so what I'm going to do is when I get to a point where I can, like, chill out, because I'm not overburdened right now. I got third. I got half my carry weight before I have to worry about it. Uh, we'll tear down those other shoes so I can use that to repair my boots. So I do need to find a place to put some cloth. I'm gonna do a look around real quick because I'm and we're going down in temperature a little bit, but it's not too bad. I want to make sure I've gotten everything out of here that I possibly could get out from this area. I mean, I could break down some of these boxes, but I'm going down in temp, so I probably don't want to do that. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. Oh, you know, did I? Did I grab everything out of those? Out of that toolbox? I don't know if I did. Game makes you go around and around and around. Yeah, I did. Okay. All right, let's drop down here. Make sure I didn't miss anything. I think I'm good. All right. So the only spot that I didn't check was this trailer that's on the other side of this door here. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to head out through here. There's probably going to be a wolf here, so we're going to have to be super careful. But hopefully we'll get lucky. All right, so we've got a trailer right here to the right. I'm going to run to it in case there's a wolf. There was a wolf. Sure enough. God dang, boy. I got in here, though. Woo! All right. Make sure I, I'm not, I didn't, you know, I don't have any condition problems or anything like that. No afflictions. He didn't bite me. He is waiting outside there for me, though. Fortunately, there's a bed right here I can crash out if I needed to. But I don't have to, so. Grab that cloth. Uh, we are short um, gloves and a hat, right? Oh, I have that. If I need gloves, so I need four pieces of cloth is what I need. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find four pieces of cloth in here. I don't think I am. Take that. Practical gunsmithing is a useless book here. In this, in this version. Flamed wood. So what I'm probably going to do is that we can break down some of this stuff while I'm warming up. So we're going to break this down. I'm going to give him a little time to go do his thing. So I can go do my thing. And not like get eaten. That's 30 minutes we just hung out. And what else can I break? I can break this down. Don't really need this. Oh, I mean, I need some tinder, so that's fine. So that's an hour we just hung out in here. So hopefully he's like gone and he's gone and done something. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna 
crouched down and there was a truck there was a pickup truck that was just past this trailer which is going to get me on the other side and he's going to have to go around because he can't go through the truck so that's my that's my beeline is that truck when i go out this door so i got to be really super careful if he's right out, out front here then we're going to be in trouble but if i'm sneaking we should be okay i don't see him Doesn't mean he's not here. All right, we should be okay. I'm gonna try to make it to the mine shaft that's across the street up here, to my right. We're gonna go through here. All right, and I'm gonna check this glove box. I always check the visors, but there's never anything in the visor. Somebody said they found something in the visor once, but I don't, I don't believe them. All right, so I don't see any any wolves. But I think I'm going to get up and go. We're not going to run. We're going to walk. Because if you run, there's always you you're, you're going to you're going to attract anything that wants to eat you right away. So I'm going to get in here. And anything here? Nope. And back seat. Ha! Cotton toque. Yeah, I will. All right. So I'm still short gloves. We still don't have gloves. I may have to break down some some of the stuff that I'm wearing. Hopefully not. That trunk is locked. We're gonna open it anyway. Hurry. Open it. I have a crowbar. Oh, I didn't check those other, um, those other, yeah. There were a couple other, whatchamacallits, um, a couple other lockers that I didn't get when I was, when I was there. Oh, that's fine. Painkillers, baby. Sweet. I'll take them. All right, we got to go right over there. That's where that, that's where that, that, that cave is. That's where we're headed because we got to get out of here. I'm going to crouch down. Hopefully we don't have any mishap problems. All right, so up we go. Don't see me, Mr. Wolf. I don't know where he is. They like to hang out over there. Bears, too. As you know, you already saw it in this episode. All right. We're not doing too bad for a start for a first day. For a second day. Okay, and in we go. I did it without having uh, to deal with a wolf. Can't you feel your hands, but you know what? We're going to warm up in this abandoned mine shaft. All right, so... I think... Mm, I think this is a good place to end it. I think the game's saved right here. I think this is a good place to end it. So I think this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and call it, guys, because it's been like, what, 40 minutes or something? So it's not a bad start to Interloper. Um, not completely happy with it, but uh, you know, you, what, you're never completely happy with the hardest version of a game. But I think we have a good start. So I hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give us me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next episode of Interloper. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.